The sun has already dipped below the horizon. A bright moon and shining stars have appeared in the sky. There are so many stars that you can't even count them. The whole sky sparkles with small white beads. Night is the time for magic and fairy tales. Let's go for a walk together along the moonlit path and look at the forest at night. I hope that along the way we meet many forest inhabitants and find out who is sleeping at this time and who is not. Do you want to take a short trip? Then hold my hand. And let's explore. Moonlight is shining through the leaves of the trees and illuminating our way. It makes the forest look even more mysterious. Big fir trees and mighty oaks grow in the forest. Pines, cedars, larches, and many other trees, and under them spreads a soft carpet of moss and ferns. There are also many berries and mushrooms in the forest. Here you can find strawberries, blueberries, and even raspberries. Can you hear that sound? Somewhere in the distance, leaves are rustling. Who do you think it could be? Let's get closer. Look, it's a raccoon. A raccoon is a very interesting animal. It is the same size as a small dog. A raccoon's fur is thick and fluffy. Across its curious nose, there is a black stripe that goes around his eyes. It seems like a raccoon is wearing a carnival mask. Its long, fluffy tail is also decorated with dark rings. A raccoon has claws in his paws. They help him deftly climb trees and creep into the hollows. Raccoons are very curious. They explore neighborhoods and even cities. There, they make dens in barns or under houses. And in search of food, they can climb anywhere. Sly raccoons have learned how to beg for food, even by the side of the road, and people do not refuse these cute, fluffy beggars. In my pocket, there are treats just for this reason. I have cookies and nuts there. Let's put a treat on this round stump, quietly move away, and see what the raccoon will do next. Once upon a time, there was a tree here, but it grew old and fell, and now, in its place, there is only a stump. That looks like a round table. The raccoon quickly smells the food with his pointy nose and goes towards it. The raccoon is not afraid of us at all and happily eats the cookies and nuts we left for it. What a glutton he is! Let's not interfere with him. And continue our trip. 
forests make our planet more beautiful and also purify the air by saturating it with oxygen. So walking in the forest is very healthy. At first glance, the night forest seems sleepy and deserted. But life continues in it. You only need to take a closer look at everything around you. For example, next to the trees you can find anthills. The ants use small sticks to construct these houses. At night, the ants sleep, and their house seems completely empty. But with the first rays of the sun, they crawl outside and continue their work. And over here, in front of us, next to a raspberry bush, a hedgehog is running across the road. It has a lot of sharp quills on its back. Why do you think a hedgehog needs such a prickly coat? In case of danger, it curls up and defends itself with sharp quills from its enemies. A hedgehog is not afraid of a sly fox and even a wolf. Besides, a hedgehog also can carry leaves and mushrooms on its prickly back. This way, it replenishes food supplies in its hole. You and I are not his enemies. The hedgehog is not hiding from us and continues on his way. Look what a cute muzzle it has. A black nose and shiny little eyes. And if you look closely, you can see tiny ears. In the daytime, hedgehogs sleep hidden in their holes or dense bushes, and they go outside in search of food at night. This hedgehog is puffing and whiffing. It's in a hurry. It's time for him to find a meal. Hedgehogs are helpful to people. They eat harmful insects and hunt mice. Some people try to keep hedgehogs at home, but it's better for the prickly little guy to stay in the wild. Oh, look! It has already disappeared behind another raspberry bush. Let's move on. Pretty soon we will enter a forest clearing. It is a wonderful place. We can have a little rest here and watch the night sky. We have only to reach that pine tree. Do you see the tall tree? It looks like a bird is sitting on a branch. Evidently, someone else is not sleeping in the forest tonight. It is looking at us mysteriously without blinking its big eyes. I bet you know what it is. That's right, it's an owl. Owls are exciting birds. During the day, they sleep in the hollow of a tree or any other hidden place. And at night, they look for food. Usually, an owl sits on a branch and listens. A mouse rustles in the grass. A beetle runs past. A frog jumps. And the owl has heard us, too. It left the branch and flew to another tree. It is a pity that we couldn't get a closer look at it. Forest creatures are very careful. The night forest is not scary at all. 
it's even more exciting than the day. And now we have entered the clearing. The trees surround it on all sides, and the leaves do not shelter the sky above it. From here, it is so easy to see the night sky. Let's sit on the grass and dream. Somewhere in the grass, you can hear grasshoppers chirping. And deep in the forest, lonely birds are calling. Tonight, you and I have met many forest friends. A sly raccoon, a prickly hedgehog, and even a mysterious owl. I suggest you take something with you to remember this magical trip. Like maybe that big pine cone. The next time you pick it up, you will immediately think about the night forest and our little trip. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. The sounds of the night forest will help you fall asleep. Sweet dreams, little one.